hello and welcome back to my channel if you are new here then hi welcome my name is lisa i do beauty fashion and lifestyle content here on this channel this is going to be a project 10 update project 10 pound update sorry it's going to be skincare and makeup all in one because I've got no time to film two videos so let's just get down to it I have got one empty but I've done but I'm gonna do skincare first all right so first off we've got the soap and glory purifying foam cleanser now we have made up uh, I say we I have made quite a substantial amount in this product so when we first started it was here like about halfway or quarter of the way down we're now here and we're because i'm using it every single day now i'm using it every single morning it's going down so very rapidly so i think by this by this rate at the next update this will be completely empty and i'll have to use a new cleanser but this is on track i use it every morning just to sort of cleanse my face and i'm not gonna say i'm gonna finish it next month because I know I probably won't. So the next uh, item is the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Butter. If you remember, I had 42 grams left of this product. I've used it once in the last sort of month. So it's now got 35 grams left in it, but I think thing that's probably to do with the packaging so i think because i'm doing like 31 sort of makeup looks this month or in the month of october i probably will be able to finish it this month and i hope so because even though i love it I've got so many more cleansers to use up. I haven't used up much of the next product. I'm going down like slowly, like all my products I'm using. But it's not as much as I'd like. So this is the vitamin E. Vitamin E Skincare Leave-On Moisture Mask. I had 77 grams of this last month. I've now got 68, so that's 9 grams I've used up. Oh, God. It looks positively disgusting. If I don't use up any of these products, I want to use up this by next month. I probably won't, but I want to try. There you go. So please remind me, like in the comments down below, to use up this because I do not want to use it again. I hate it. I've got one more use out of it. One more. That's it. Like, do I, I don't know whether I should class this as a win or not, because it's technically I not empty, there's still remnants in there. It's going to be asked to do for next month. It says there's 35 grams in there, it does not, it's just the packaging. Because it's plastic, isn't it? So, it's so annoying because I have 
literally got one new flower that one new left out from from it and i am going to be using it after this video so so annoying it's the vitamin e nourishing night cream i used 20 grams of this don't know how but i have um so this is what it is if you use for adoption and this is what's left probably can't see it because it's a white cream on a white sort of background there's a lot in there still so i think again probably with all these products i think because i'm using more makeup this month I'm gonna be because of Halloween and stuff I'm gonna be needing a lot of this so a lot of this is gonna be needed afterwards which I'm sort of glad about really because I need all the moisture I can get I've got 63 grams of it left so I've only used up 14 grams which is mad because i've used it every single day this is the revolution um radiant strength serum so it's the vitamin c serum i can't get how i've used 14 grams of it carrot sensitive hand gel i've used 10 grams of this so if you remember last time it was like 50 I used 10 grams of it and i used it a little bit not every day but every other day the dove beauty sleep bedtime bliss body lotion it's a mouthful we know I have used 30 grams of this product, don't know how, don't know why, I just have, so I really, I'm really struggling to use this product, but I'm hoping once I break the 100 gram barrier, it won't be it's hard to do it feels like it's not much in there really it just feels like air so you know i feel like i've got about that much left neutrogena hydro boost hand gel cream there was 54 grams of this i've used there's 38 grams left which is quite good I mean, I use like just a little bit at a time because it is very moisturising. So I feel like I'm not gonna get through this an awful lot. I use it when my hands get dry. So this is CCS foot care cream. There was 126 grams. I've I've now got 84 grams left and i absolutely love it i use it every single day in the morning just like to prevent my heels getting chapped and then i use a bit at night as well so two feet twice a day i use it quite a bit right that's the skincare stuff over with and now moving on to makeup this is the Primed and Ready uh, Mattifying Pore Minimizer. I've used only 3 grams of this, but I think most of that is packaging. So I've got 16 grams left. I did use a lot yesterday, and of everything that is in my budget tampon, I've got my base today, including the skincare bits. So 
I'm helping the cause. So I probably have like about 11 grams or something left. I don't know. But I'm hoping by next month this will be gone. I am a liquid crime highlighter. Drop. I'm going to use 7 grams of this. <laughs> Cat fur highlighter. I'm going to use 7 grams of this, which is so annoying because it's literally like a paste and it's all congealed and it's all horrible and it's probably expired again but again I've used it today I used it yesterday hopefully I can get some use out of this because I don't like it anymore I thought I did like it but I don't like it anymore I might have to come up with some inventive ways to use it. I thought I used up less than I actually did. 46 grams I had of this. 41 grams I got of it now. I forgot to use it yesterday when I was doing my Project 10, 10 pan video. But I used it today. And I don't know. It seems like it dried up a lot, which is going to be so hard to use, but it's going to make me use up a bit more in it each time, so no, it's probably going to be my last product in my Project 10 band, which I'll use up. You know what, I'm not mad about it because it lasts you a long time. Like an awful long time. Eyeshadow palette. I can feel myself hitting pan on the black shade. Choose reputation. Um, chocolate orange is getting a bit of a dent. Cookie dough is getting more of a pan on it. And so is cheesecake. Cheesecake is getting more of a dip than any of them and brownies is just staying brownies so I feel like this is probably going to take the longest but this is the sort of look I go for for a neutral eye I'm not so neutral today I'm basically smoky eye but yeah, I feel like this is probably going to take the longest as well as brow pinning. We've got a win in the first ever month of Project Tampan. We have got a finished product. The NYX HD Finishing Powder. It is done ladies and gents. It is done. So I am so happy about this means one product down nine products to go i will let you know what the product i'm going to replace in it with at the end i will show you all the products but and by the way it's not another powder i'm doing it with all my other powders are loose there's no way I'm doing this loose powder. It's a lot of years. Next is sleek makeup. I used five grams of this product. I don't see how. I don't see a dent in it whatsoever. It's still as flat as a pancake. So yeah. I do not see any improvement of this whatsoever. I keep using it like every day. I've got it on now. Not that like you can tell. I keep trying and trying and trying to get like pigment off it. Like it's a fairly light formula anyway. 
I feel like I have to go to England it in like two or three dips. It's quite good in a way though, because I get to use more of it. It keeps crumbling all around me. This obviously is a nightmare. I've used four grams of this. 32 grams previously, 29 grams now. There's a little bit of a dent in it. I use it on my nose, my cheeks, my inner corner. I don't use it on my eyebrows so much now because I don't like that look. It crumbles away in existence. Which is like this product here. I'm not going to open it up because it's just going to go absolutely everywhere but it's crumbled so now I can't see like how much of the product I've actually used which is not satisfying if I hit in pan but I know I hit pan already on this so uh, 69 grams Previously 61 grams now, so I've only used 8 grams of it, but I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely fine, like, I do not want to get rid of this product. I love this product so much, I love this bronzer so much, so it's much better to use it in my life. I'm happy. Lash sensational. You can't obviously, like, measure this in any way, which so god I'm annoying but it does seem to still have a wet spot formula and every time I do like wiggle it this product on the end so this is no I near doing I don't think it's just annoying I don't like this product at all i want to get rid of it so every single day i'm wearing it without fail even if i've got like no makeup on my skin i'm still wearing it i think we'll be done by next time i know i say that probably every single time but that is where we started that is where we ended off. I think that much. Definitely. We're on target. Definitely on target. So. Maybe by next month. Hang on. Let's go for a little spritz now, shall we? I still hate the smell of it, but there we go. And the product I am replacing the NYX HD finishing powder with is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Concealer. Got it under my eyes today. It's not sort of the best. It sort of makes me seem like I've got bags under my eyes. There's no way of me measuring this either, so again. It's like, when you finish it, you finish it, whenever that may be. So, that is all my Project 10 pan update. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like if you liked it. Comment down below. Anything you want, I don't mind. Um, subscribe if you're new, subscribe if you're liking, and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye guys.